threatens our ability to make sure that people are paid a living wage and have access to cheap medicine because all of these things limit the amount of money that big business can gouge out of our society without cleaning up after themselves. When we debated this at, its, at the City Council, some of my colleagues said that this wasn't a local issue and that we shouldn't be talking about it. And thank God they lost, because we're making some... <laughs> thank God they lost, because we're about to make some decisions that I think big business will be quite interested in. Over the next little while, we, with our community, will be uh, developing our local alcohol policy, which decides uh, where, when, and how alcohol can be sold. Um, we're developing our second generation district plan, which lays out how land can be used and how intensively it can be used. And the Otago Regional Council are currently in the process of forming their, uh, their regional policy statement, which basically sets out a framework for the, the management of natural and physical resources. Um, I've got a hunch that corporate interests will be quiet and will be following those sorts of discussions uh, with interest and we've already seen up and down the country uh, the approach that uh, liquor wholesalers and producers have had uh, to people trying to curb their right uh, to sell alcohol uh, in, other, in other communities up and down the country. Uh, so I guess that my point there is that these are uh, local decisions that need to be made by local people in communities uh, such as this and we need to protect our right to be able to do that. And for that to happen, we have to stand together and say, TPPA, no oh way. Thanks to our speakers. I think we've got some really good information now to go out and tell everybody what we know about the TPPA. And now, every one of you who've got any photographs or videos or things that you've taken today, don't forget to post them up on social media or send them out anywhere you can so that we can show what good turnout we've had today and how many people are really on our side. Now, I've got another event that I just want to let you know about, and that is Sue Bradford is giving a talk as part of the nationwide tour, um, and she's going to be in Dunedin on the 4th of December um, at 5.30 at Archway 1 at the University. Now, this is going to be a really good, a good opportunity to hear Sue's thoughts on development of the left wing and of the fight back against the national um, that we want to see happening in New Zealand. We can't let this go on. We have to do something. And this is going to be part of it. So I hope some of you can come along here. Now, uh, we're going to uh, have a small music to me. Oh, thank you. But uh, I'll just let Andrew come along and uh, give us a few chants. TPPA.